Get in those glutes. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're, pardon? Pardon? I don't know, maybe. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all okay and excited for today's glute workout. I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to this one all week. I will obviously let people filter in on YouTube as well. Um, if you have any questions for me, pop them in the questions box. Box for me. Pop in here. Just to let you all know that obviously I will answer some questions at the end. This is gonna be a probably quite a busy live as well, which I'm really excited for. I will wait and explain everything before we go into it, just because I obviously want everyone to be here before I start on the act. Excuse me, on the activation and things as well. Ooh, I've got like three screens going on. It's crazy. I have to like look at everything, um, all at once. But with today's class, I push you back a little bit. You do, uh, well, no, your equipment isn't necessary necessary but if you do have equipment i would recommend that you use it or if you can use anything as a weight so i have a kettlebell a long resistance band this one isn't necessary this one's just a supplementary to add to some of our exercises and then also if you have one a hip circle resistance band so the hip circle resistance band is probably the one that you need the most. It's probably the most required. Like I said, not 100% necessary, but when we're doing some of the abduction work, you probably won't feel in your glutes as much if you don't have a band. But I can obviously read out alternatives for you. That's not a problem at all. So it has just gone nine o'clock. There are loads of people watching. So let's get started. Now, we're starting with glute activation today, just so we can wake the glutes up so they can actually get ready for the session. Now, we don't need to do tons of glute activation. I feel like a lot of people think you need to do like 20 minutes worth. It's very individual for each person. Like I personally only need five minutes and my glutes are fired up. Some people need 10 or whatever. So we're gonna do some glute activation. I'll go through that in a second. And then we have one, two, three, four, five exercises but three of them are supersets and one's a crazy circuit to finish. It's a very enjoyable workout. I'm really excited. I've got a little bit of a sore hip, so I'm just, you know, massaging my hip. Make sure you've got a drink for me. Do not start this session without a drink. It's not necessarily gonna be like a sweaty hip class, but you are obviously going to sweat a little bit and you will feel a little bit fatigued. Okay, let's get going then with our glute activation. So the first thing you're gonna do for me, I'll try and push you back as far as you can go because I am gonna be stood up now. Um, your first thing you're gonna do is lateral band walks. You're then going into glute bridges and then fire hydrants. So if you don't have a band, all you're gonna do is monster walks for me. If you do have a band, pop it on for me. And you're just gonna go on my account. So when I say we're gonna change exercises, that's when we'll change exercises, okay? So nice steps from side to side. You're pushing with your knee. Bend over a little bit at the waist. Doesn't really matter where you put your hands. Let's just get those glutes fired and ready for the day. This is one of my usual glute sessions, by the way, whilst at home, I'm not like, doing any bullshit workout. This is what I had planned for today anyway. So this is the usual glute session that I would do at home. Okay, good. So just drop down to the floor for me and go straight into your glute bridges. So widen your stance a little bit and flare your feet out to the side. This is so we hit the glute max a little bit more. Try and keep your chin tucked at the top of the movement. Boom, we'll do that little extra inch, none of this, no arching of the back, touch the floor, posterior pelvic tilt. Good, keep going, I'm just going to turn the music up for you. Ooh. 
Blood, keep it up. Nice, just pull that band off for me. Oh my God, Ben did that fire circuit yesterday. My glutes are killing from it. Like that is already really hurting. Okay, let's go into some Superman. So what you're gonna do is get your opposite hand and your opposite leg. You're gonna extend your opposite arm and extend your opposite leg. But first I want you to find a neutral spine. So do anterior, posterior, and twiggle a little bit until you're in neutral. And then extend back in. If you struggle with the arm, just keep it on the floor like so. Doesn't really matter, you don't actually have to do the arm. Just gets our claws activated a little bit as well, as it requires more control. Good, switch. And this last rep, just hold it there for me. Really squeeze those glutes without arching the back. So just think about squeezing those glutes back down. Moving on to thigh hydrants. So thigh hydrants, what I want you to do, we'll do your left leg first and lift off the floor. You're going to lean to the right hand side. So lean to the right and then lift the leg off. And then just stay in that position. It'll just take a bit of stress off the hip flexor. Good, and switch sides. You take your key. Good, so lean over to the left hand side. Wonderful. Last one for me. My glutes are already absolutely fired up. But last exercise on our glute activation. Just bend down, pretty much into the squat position. And you're just going to go slowly. Forward steps and then backward steps. So you don't need a band for this, which is great if you don't have anything at home. One more. Back. Good. Ready for the session. Try to get Ben to do my glute workout as well, but it wasn't happening. See, this is the crab. <laughs> I don't know what you want. Headphones. Ben's off to do a push session, and ladies and maybe gents, I've got you as well. <laughs> Let's kick in with our glute session. So. Our first exercise is banded weighted glute bridges. We're doing three lots of 12 reps. So banded weighted glute bridges, you can use two bands or you can use one. I'll just lower you a little bit so you can actually see me. So if you do have two bands, that is fantastic. If you don't, that's also fine. If you have nothing, that is also fine. We're gonna go to three lots of 15 reps. I'm going to show you a rep without any equipment because this is the technique that I actually want you to do so you can feel it in your glutes. You're going to lie down. You're going to widen your stance a bit. You're going to flare your toes out at the top of the movement. I don't want any of this. This is the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life in anterior pelvic tilt. We're going to go up and we're going to pull the hips through. You're going to have a little posterior tilt at the top of the movement and lower yourself back down nice and slowly. So none of this crap. That's just absolutely doing nothing. So we're going to keep the back in neutral on the floor and then we're going to pop up posterior pelvic tilt and back down. That is the same if you're doing body weight, band, or kettlebell, whatever you're doing. Boom, three lots of 15 reps. If you do have to, so probably bands in, you've got a band. If you have another band, pop the band on. Loop it, loop it round your feet, pull it, mine's really tight onto your hips. If you've got a weight, so a dumbbell, a kettlebell, anything that's probably over like five kilograms, even though that won't do a lot, pull it onto yourselves and let's go for 15 reps. Good. 
Five, remember those technique points. Ten. Fourteen. Fifteen, good. Put the weight down. Throw your band off. Woo. And do the band. Oh. If you want to as well, you can throw your shoes off because you actually technically want to be pushing through your heels. When you push through your heels, the transmission of force is going to go to the hamstrings and the glutes, not the quads. If you push through your toes, it's going to hit your quads. So if you want completely, just take your toe off the floor and be in this position on the floor. Completely up to you. This is so fun. This is a really busy live. Crazy. Okay, rest is going to be a little bit shorter today. And that's okay. So pop your band back on for me. If you've got a double band, throw it on. Pull it over your hips. Ooh. Grab your weight. Let's go again for 15 reps. Good, over halfway. Good, put your weight down, take your band off. Ah. My glutes are absolutely on fire today. So uh, we've got one more set of this. And then we're moving on to sumo weighted goblet squats into fire hydrants. So that'll be a pretty tough super set considering we're doing a stretching sort of exercise. And then we're going on to a pump exercise. So our glutes are going to be very sore. Ooh. I always feel as well like once my glutes start to get really sore, sitting on them hurts. I usually get it in the gym after hip thrusts and I can't sit down. I have to just like sit like this because it hurts so much. Obviously, this is different to being in a gym, but we're making do, aren't we, guys? So put your band back on for me. Double band. Get your weight, last set. Let's make it the best set, technically, as well. Good technique. So nice and controlled. Good. Halfway. Woo. Wonderful. That is. Okay, get rid of those bands for now. Oi. And onto your feet for me. Oh, my glutes are hurting. Oh, my mat back a little bit. Okay, so push you up a little bit. Is that okay? There we go. So. We're starting with a sumo goblet squat into fire hydrants. And you're doing 12 reps of each three times. So superset, if you don't know, is where you do one exercise straight into the other. A lot of people do them antagonistic, agonistic. So you, for example, you could do a bicep curl to a tricep extension, but also it puts a lot of stress on the muscle when you do two opposing muscles. So we're just working on the glutes. Okay, so a sumo goblet squat. This is a normal squat stance. I want you to widen your stance, flare your toes out on the kettlebell, dumbbell, or whatever weight you have will be here. If you have no weight, you'll be doing body weight. This is the position we want to be in, okay? So if I show you side on, you're dropping down backwards. So none of this, you're simply dropping down 
into heel, back close to approximately 90 degrees and shooting back up. When we shoot back up, none of this to squeeze the glutes, we're shooting back up and we're just pulling through the hips. So as you can see here, that little movement there, like with the hip thrusts, really out of breath, the exact same thing. So let's do 12 reps and go straight into our fire hydrants, 12 reps per side. I hope you're all enjoying it. I can't actually see the chat at the moment on YouTube, but so grab that weight up, adopt your CMO stance, and let's do 12 reps. Squeeze. You want your elbows to touch your thighs, so that's when you pretty much know you're at full depth. If you're reaching full range of motion, this is going to be something during home workouts that is going to help with muscle hypertrophy and at least maintaining muscle whilst you don't have as many weights at home. Two more. Good. Woo. That's a very jarring song. Okay. Back onto our five hydrants. So we'll do the left leg off the floor first. And we're going to lean over to the right hand side, take the stretch off for hip flexors. And let's go. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Switch those to the side. Lean to the left. One. Ooh. Keep those toes pointed down to me as well. 10, 11, 12. Good. And third thing. I've got my little board so far away. I can't even read it. Okay, so we have that two more times. And then we go on to another super set where we're doing a stretcher exercise into a pumper exercise. Are we all enjoying it? I hope so. I wish I could see the chat. I have to wait until the end to see the chat. I'm, I'm put out today. The um, little finish that we've got at the end is like pretty intense. I'm excited, I'm not gonna lie. I think we might do it three times as well instead of two. We'll see how we feel. Back onto your feet. So I hope everyone found those steamer squats okay, doing proper form, proper technique. This is the point of this glute session as well. It's kind of a workshop where you're learning from me and what I'm saying. Also copying me, but getting the cues. It's the exact same thing on the My Coach School, so my coaching school. This workout is from the My Coach School, and on there, there are cues for all the exercises. So I talk through thousands of exercises with you. So. I'll pop the link in the description for the My Coach School so you can all check it out as well. Set your weight. It's easier to get in the sumo stance first as well. Woo. And then you just pull your weight up. Remember to sit back into those heels. One. Two. Six, then we're dropping down. Seven. Ten. Elbows to thighs. And twelve. Good. Right hydrant straight in. Left leg first. Lean to the right. Point that toe down to the floor. So you're staying in this position with your toe. Ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Straight in. Let's switch sides. One, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Glutes from fire. Yeah. By the way, guys, I will do a little Q and A at the end, like I promised. So, if you do have questions for me. Just pop them in the chat box and I promise I will 
get back to you at the end because there are quite a few questions in there already. So I would definitely get back to you at the end, just pop them in whenever you get a chance. When you've got a breather. Okay, so we have that one more time. I'll tell you our next superset um, anyway. So we have suitcase weighted reverse lunges into banded abduction. So your suitcase reverse lunge, you're gonna be holding your weight here or if you don't have a weight, just touch your thigh. <laughs> What we're going to do back in the doctor wide stance, lean forward and lunge down. So that's our suitcase reverse lunge. It's called suitcase because you want to keep the weight with you at all times, touching your thigh. And then to seated banded abduction, which, oh my God, I feel sick. <laughs> which I'll go through with you at the end. I wish I could have like real music on, but I can't because it's like YouTube. It's like, like some sort of like, it's just noise. I apologize for the noise. Okay, let's go again with our last set. I actually, way too loud. I apologize. I want you to do 15 reps of the squats and then 15 fire hydrants as well. So we're just stepping up a little notch because why not? I've noticed like with home training, we are having to increase the reps quite significantly and have more volume in our sessions because that resistance, that load isn't there as much. And that's fine. So let's do 15 reps. Get your weight up and drop down. One, two, three. Remember to pull those glutes through, put that pelvis under. Nine, 10, 13, 14, 15. Oh, good job. Straight in for a clear. Drop five high drinks, 15 per side. Left side first. Let's go. One. Number four, range of motion. 14, 15, good. Switch sides. All the way up, as you can go. weighted reversal and doing seated abduction. So um, like I just demonstrated that before, so seated abduction, see this is where if you don't have a band, I want you to do pulse squats. So if you've no band, I want you to drop into the squat and do tiny little pulses. But if you do have a band, sorry that light's really strange isn't it? It's just like coming on me. Um, you're going to lean back slightly and you're going to abduct your legs out for 25 to 30 reps. So your rep range is pretty high. Let me just try and put that blind down for you because that's another thing. That might be a bit better. That's way better. <laughs> okay. So let's go with our suitcase one. Then either you have a band or you don't. You're going to do do no pull squats or you're going to do seated abductions with me. So we're doing 10 reps of the lunges. The focus of the lunge is to adopt a wide stance. So if you're doing a narrow stance and you're upright, think where it's going to hit. Quads, okay? We're not trying to hit the quads today. You're going to lean a little bit over your hips, holding your weight. And you're going to do a wide lunge back. You'll feel this in your glutes and you also want to lean forward a little bit as well. So this is the whole movement pattern. <laughs> We're going for today. Maybe I should have my head in this a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so grab your weight. If you have one, could be a dumbbell. And let's do 12, uh, 10 reps, sorry. One. Two. Two. 
you're leaning forward, trying to let that kettlebell travel back with you, or if you have a dumbbell. Nine, I think I've lost count. Eight, Ten, good. Switch sides for me. One, two, three. Full range of motion. So basically that back knee is touching the floor. Nine, 10. Oh my God. The guys that are banned, you're doing pull squats. Pull squats. If not, grab your band. Sit down. Play the boogie knee. Lean back. Let's aim for 30 reps. Three. Whew. 15. 20. Let's go. 25. 30. That. We've also got that at the end, the abductions, but I mean the reps quite significantly higher. Um. The hardest thing <laughs> about these lives is because we have to off a laptop for YouTube and how we stream it. You will either have my head cut off or my, my feet cut off because, see, look, I feel right up against the wall. Is everyone enjoying it? I hope you are. I'm loving this. I feel like we're all doing it together. And also, fun fact, after isolation, when we're all out of this and we've all got through this together, me and Ben are gonna put on a physical event. So not a virtual event, so we're actually all together. We can see you all and we're all together doing like classes and seminars and talks and chats and Q and A's and it's just gonna be ace. So let's go again with our suitcase reverse lunges. Nice strong stance, nice wide steps. Let's go. One. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, good, switch hands for me, or legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We actually have this super set four times. I think I said three at the start, but it's four times. So after this, we have two more rounds. Bang on. Lean back, feet together. 30 reps. Five. 10. 15. Keep it up. 25. 30. Whoa. Oh my gosh. My glutes are on fire. Oh, <laughs> triple balling. This is really getting to my glutes. I'm so happy you're all enjoying it. And the workout's good. Love that. Yeah, so any questions for me for the end, because I'll do a little Q&A with you. Just pop them in um, at the end. I've also just realized, I do this all the time. I can't change it anyway. It says I'm called Ben Halden. I'm obviously not. I'm called Lucy Davis. But it's just the way it comes through on Zoom. Woohoo! That was just an hour you know, ninja. Okay. Has everyone got like little peachy buns? We all, just doing it again with that. I'm sorry about my window. Okay, let's go again. Set number three. Let's do this. 10 reps. One. Remember the wider the stance, the more we're gonna target those glutes. 
all range of motion. Good. Switch sides. Four. Five. And 10. I'm literally sweating. Boy, how do you get sweaty? Put your band on. 30 reps. Let's go. One, five, fifteen. Twenty-five. Thirty. Good. Whoa. This is tough. Do I do say so myself for my own workout? Okay, guys, we have that super set one more time, and then we're going into single leg glute bridges. Now, single leg glute bridges are really tough. I find one of the hardest exercises completely body weight as well because what you'll probably notice is you might have weak glutes if you feel a single leg glute bridge in your hamstrings it signifies you have weaker glutes and i feel it in my left hamstring because i do have a glute imbalance so single leg glute bridge all you want to do so you want to be normal glute bridge stance lift the foot off and we still want to reach full hip extension Okay, so we're still reaching full hip extension. But we'll come to that hurdle when we hit it. We've got one more set of our uh, lunges. Oh my God. Do you know what's good though? Like I can't feel my quads. Quads are sound. Hamstrings a little bit, obviously, posterior chain. But glutes, I've got you covered. Okay, let's do our last set. 10 reps. Let's go. Make it your best and most focused set. Driving through that front leg heel. Nine and ten. <laughs> Switch sides. So remember, driving from this front leg heel. Good job. Pop your weight down. Grab your band. If not, if you're doing squats, last set of full squats. Oh, I'm going to your band on. Okay, 30 reps. Let's go. Abducting all the way out. 10. Twenty-five. Thirty. Good. Oh my days. I'm literally sweating. I just need to open my window. It's so hot in here. Oh. Fresh air. Okay, so moving on to our single leg glute bridges. And then we have a crazy finisher. It's not crazy, I don't want to scare you. It's just a bit like, whoa, my glutes are going to feel better. 31 minutes so far, so I reckon this will be approximately like a 45 minute session, which is perfect for at home, especially if you're like a working um, person as well who like actually has to stick to their full day, which you obviously could and should. Um, but this is obviously just like a 40, you throw it in on your lunch break, it's 45 minutes. Okey-dokey. Is that really annoying? Can you not see me properly? I'm annoyed by that. Let me lower it again. I'll just be a bit hotter. I can deal with being hot. So single leg glute bridges. 
We're doing three lots of eight reps per leg. Eight reps doesn't seem like a lot, but I want you to actually focus on this exercise and think about what you're doing throughout the whole movement and not wiggling your hips and try not to feel any hamstring. And there's a lot of factors that go into it. So body weight glute bridges, single leg. So put yourself into your usual glute bridge. Find your neutral spine. So anterior, posterior, let's find the neutral. I tend to put my arms out as well, helps to balance a little bit. So one leg off the ground and let's go. So you still want to try and reach full hip extension. And eight. Switch legs. If you can feel this in your hamstring, try and pull your foot, so that's on the floor, a little bit close to your body, but not too much so you'll feel your quad. So let's do the other leg. Good. Seven, eight, good. So what I was saying to you then about if your feet, for example, so you're doing a glute bridge and your feet are further away, you're gonna feel it in your hamstring. If you pull your feet too close in, you're gonna feel it in your quad. So when you're usually doing a hip thrust, your shins should be parallel, so 90 degrees. Obviously we're doing a glute bridge, you want to find a position that's somewhere in the middle and that's actually comfortable for you so you can feel it in your glutes. It'll be different for every single person, so you have to find that yourself where your foot position should be. Sweating. I'm slightly nervous for this finisher. What is this music? I'm so sorry. I wish I could have like Drake on and stuff, but I can't because it's going to be on YouTube. Okay, let's go again with our second set. Remember, we've only got three sets, so make them good sets. So find your position, lift the leg off, eight reps. Seven. Eight. Good. I find these really hard. Like these are one of my hardest exercises. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Oh my god. One more. And then I'm going to tell you your circuit finisher. So the circuit finisher is only twice. Um, I say only twice. It's quite a substantial amount of repetitions in there. But um, you'll be absolutely fine. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. So after my class today, you have a really long gap. You have a 4 p.m. Yoga session with Jessica Oli, a yoga flow, which is going to be incredible. Like, oh my god, I do all her Instagram lives, it's going to be amazing. We then have, sorry, I turned that down, that's so annoying. We then have um, Jamie Alberton, who's doing a mindset seminar and a mindset class about like confidence, self esteem, and things like that. So, I'd recommend you listen to that one. And then tonight, this one's optional, is <laughs> a bro QA with Elliot Burton, Ryan Terry, and my other half, Ben. Optional to listen to. I think it might be still quite interesting for girls as well to get her perspective. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to be chilling there. Um, so let's go with our last set. Are we ready? I imagine you will put your hands up then as well with me. Let's do our last set. Okay, so find your position. Leg off the floor. Eight reps. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Switch. Try not to swivel those hips too much. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay, grab your, yourselves a drink. Might as well just leave, you know. 
If you do my Instagram live, you'll already know that bottle leaks, but I love it, so. Okay, we're nearly there. Definitely probably be a 45 minute session, which is cool. Now, this circuit is three exercises, and you do want to use your band. If you don't have a band, I'll give you alternatives. You're going to start, remember this is only twice you're doing it, with 50, 5 0 seated abductions like we did before. If you don't have a band, I want you to get up and I want you to do monster walks until I finish my abductions. So you drop it nice and low and do quite quick walks forward and back if you don't have a band. You're then throwing your band off. We're dropping into a sumo squat and we're doing tiny pulses, but not this, not bouncing. We're doing small pulses for 30 reps. You're then getting your band back, putting your band on and doing 20 glute bridges with the band. I did this the other day on my glute workout and it was just one of those things I was like, I love, love and hate what I just did. So I could not do it with you today. Okay, when we're all ready, we're on the floor. <laughs> and we're gonna do 50 feet of abduction. If it's, I want you to start with your feet a little bit wider and then abduct. If it's starting to get really hard, just pull your feet in and you'll find it a little bit easier. But we obviously wanna challenge ourselves today. I feel like you already have. Nice big, big reps, 50 reps, let's go. on that posterior tilt at the top of the movement. Whew. Feet nice and wide for me, fly your feet out. Let's go, 20 reps, one. Halfway. Oh my gosh, 20. See, I can't sit on my glutes now. Sometimes I can't sit after it because I hurt so much. Give yourself a round of applause for number second number one. We have that one more time. I hope you can hear music because that's what I was just asking to. Oh God. Okay, so we do that, ha have that again. Once more, we're gonna go in 30 seconds. So everyone with glutes on fire, like I can't sit still. I just like tap my feet or something. I shake my legs. I feel like from the start that we've got a good little glute activation going on. Glutes are definitely fired. So we're going in 10 seconds. Put yourselves down for me. The last exercise, we're gonna change a little bit. So you're gonna do a glute bridge into an abduction. So that is one rep, two reps. That'll be fun. I think just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay, 50 reps. Let's 
go. Sit yourself back. And one. Pushing those feet out as far as you can for me. 15. 20. It's going to burn. 30. Forty. Ah. Fifty. Good. Good. That was yeah. Okay, straight into our pull squats. Throw your band off. We're nearly there now, <laughs> and then we can do some questions. Oh. See my stance. Let's go. One. Keeping that back nice and straight. 10. Twenty, ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my days. Hmm. Right, we have our last exercise now. So I would just quickly show you demo if you didn't get this last time. If you don't have a band, just do normal glute bridges for me. So this is one where you'll go up, abduct. So pull the knees to the side. Ready? Gonna do 20 reps. Let's go. One, two. So wait until you're actually in full hip extension before you abduct. Okay, that's halfway. <sighs> Keep going. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hold it, hold it, hold it at the top. Hold it at the top. I'm down. Good. Oh, good. We did it. We did it. Oh my. Oh, let me just come a bit closer. I can't, I can't move. Oh. Okay, I'm coming. And she's down. Ooh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll just have a few, uh, look at the questions now. I'm sorry I couldn't look at the questions the whole way through. It was just, it's just too much. Okay. Oh my God, someone said it's 4.30 a.m., 1.26 a.m. Oh my God, you guys are crazy. She's in the middle of it. God, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Can't balance my lunges, keep falling over. So Tegan, with your lunges, one of the best things to do is actually just hold on to something. So hold the wall and try and balance yourself like so. If not, stare at something. So stare at one spot and it should help with your balance. So start with the wall and then stare at one spot. And it should really help. I'll just put the pants on there. Okay. When you do those types, those types of reductions, where should you focus on your movement? Do you push through your knees or focus on glutes? So yeah, so when you're doing an abduction, you obviously have your band on. You want to focus on pushing the whole thigh, so the whole outer thigh and the knee out to the side. But obviously you are thinking about your glutes because you're in this perfect straight line hip extension. So you're pulling. And when you do abduct to the side, you're working your glute medius, okay? So not as much your glute max, which is your big, biggest muscle underneath. It's more of the side that you're focusing on. So if you think about pulling the feet, the legs aside, so your thighs and your knees, that's the focus. But then obviously you are thinking about abducting, um, uh, sorry, you are thinking about your glute medius, which is the side of the glutes. Do you keep your weight forward throughout the lunge? No, so you wanna, with the lunge, you wanna be thinking about that front foot and you're pushing through the heel. So 
you're actually dropping back into the exercise and you're pulling back up through that same front heel. Like I said, always think about the heel when you're doing the glutes because that's what makes you actually feel it in your glutes. So where do I get my equipment? I've had the kettlebells for years. I hadn't actually purchased anything new for isolation. I only have kettlebells and bands at home. And to be fair, it's doing its job. It's doing what it needs to do. But have a look at Amazon. Have a look at Strength Shop. Um, that should be fine. So someone says skincare routine. That is on my latest YouTube video. So there's like four videos, no, five videos that went up yesterday on my YouTube channel from yesterday's event. But the one before that, the, the day in the life with me is my skincare. I feel the burn. Will I lose muscle during lockdown? I'm used to heavy weights in the gym. So it'll approximately take three or four weeks for muscle to atrophy, depending on the person. So muscle basically, yeah, in the worst way possible, does diminish. It goes a bit smaller. It's kind of obvious because if you're not putting a resistance against it for a long period of time, that will happen. And that is okay because there are far worse things than not being able to go to the gym at the moment. Like our health is so important. But just be thankful that your health is there. That's why I say to everyone, not worry about the gym. I know home workouts can be boring and they can be a bit dull. And um, that's why me and Ben do have our coaching school as well for a time like this where you can stay accountable. The workouts on the school are exactly like I did there. So I'm talking to you throughout the whole thing, even though it's not live. So maybe jump on the my coach school and have a look for like workouts that you can do at home that are efficient. Um, and a lot of the workouts on there will actually help you maintain muscle in isolation. Um, on the right leg, I feel perfect. On the left, I struggle to get up between it's on my left or right side. Uh, yeah, so your right hip could be tighter. I have a really tight right hip flexor, but it's more so that you probably have a glute imbalance, which might be something that was undiagnosed or like something happened or you had an injury or something. I don't know. Or it might just be a glute imbalance. My left side is weaker because my right side is more dominant. But if you do find you have a weaker left glute, for example, the best thing to do is reverse hypers. So if you have a, like a bench or something or a bed, you can sit on, you lean over your bed. But, and if you have an ankle weight, put it on the weaker side. But all you want to do is reverse hype that weaker side up. Obviously, if you had an ankle weight on there as well, that would be really beneficial. Oh my God, I'm glad you all enjoyed it so much. Okay, so everyone asks in terms, of, in terms of like what I eat in a day and things like that. They're all on my YouTube channel. So the channel you're on now, they're all on there. Oh, my auntie Donna, thank you. You're more than welcome. Um, just answer the gluten balance question. Struggle to engage my gluten hip for us. I mainly feel that my hammies, I have my legs closed by still struggle. So it, this com does completely depend on your gluten anatomy. Like I said, it's individual to each person the best thing that you can do is bring your feet in closer and actually adopt a wider stance. So when you're doing a hip thrust, yes, bring your feet in closer. Also pull your feet to the side and flare your toes out. So you're kind of like in that position when you do it. If you have your feet a little bit closer together, you might feel in different areas that you don't really want to feel it in. So actually twiddle around with your, your foot position, doing an external rotation with your feet. And that should help. Uh, I can't sit into my ceiling squat with a vertical back properly. What can I do to improve this? So you probably have very stiff ankles and very stiff hips if you cannot get into a squat position. So everybody doing squats should be able to sit comfortably in this position. So we did an ability class last night with Sunny. Go onto that video with Sunny. It was the last video I posted yesterday. And do that ability class. You should be doing it I guess, three or four times a week. I literally just sit in this position all the time. And it just like, you sit up right in the position, you get used to it. So yeah, if you have stiff ankles, you're not gonna be able to get down and you're gonna be arched over. If you have tight hips, you're literally gonna be like this. So practicing that position is the utmost importance. So go on Sunny's mobility video from last night. Ooh, you're so welcome. And um, all the questions, amazing. I will, I have to love you and leave you now, unfortunately. But I really hope you all enjoyed today's session. If you did, I would really appreciate it. Obviously, this is a free event that me and Ben have put on for you. And it's just incredible to see so many people come together. We do have a Just Giving link. Even if you donated one pound, 50p, I don't know. 
that's all going to the NHS Trust. I think we've raised over 1,700 so far, which is really cool. That's all going to the NHS after the event on Friday. So I'd really appreciate it. I'll pop the link in the description of this video. I will love you and leave you. Remember four o'clock, we have Jessica Oli doing a yoga flow, which will be amazing after this glute workout. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you at four o'clock.